Have you recently had the realization that you and your job don't go together very well? Do you often feel alienated, distressed, bored, or overall unsatisfied at work? Quitting might help. But weighing all of the various consequences of quitting a job can be exhausting. Lucky for you, we've summed up 10 reasons why you should quit your job. So if you were looking for a sign, this video's it. Let's begin. You have a new job offer. One of the most common reasons why anyone might quit their current job is, if they've been offered a better position elsewhere. So if that's the case for you, there's no use remaining at a workplace that doesn't bring you satisfaction. However, before you leave your current job for another one, you should consider some important aspects of both jobs. First and foremost, you should compare the pay levels, as well as non-financial benefits of both the positions. Weigh these benefits against other aspects, such as the working hours, and the working conditions, and see if it's worth switching. Secondly, you should also analyze the subjective side of the new job too. If your current job fails to fulfill your personal objectives, then that's something you should be looking for in a new job. These objectives can be both tangible, such as a high paycheck at the end of each month, or personal growth and opportunities to step out of your comfort zone. You have personal commitments and conflicts. Sometimes the reason why a job is unsatisfactory is because it conflicts with other commitments that you might have. If someone's looking after a family along with having a full-time job, balancing the two commitments can be exhausting. That manifests itself in the form of burnout, and you end up feeling some not-so-great things about your job and colleagues. It's completely okay to take a break from work if your schedule is too tight, and if the range of responsibilities end up making you despise work. However, many people need a source of income, despite the many responsibilities they have on their shoulders. So if your current job is full-time, and this is something that's making it entirely unsatisfactory, you could switch to part-time jobs. Alternatively, you can also look for remote positions that are all too common in today's time. This way you can work from home, and attend to your household chores and walk simultaneously. You're dissatisfied with your responsibilities at work. Sometimes it's the job itself that doesn't provide us with the challenge or achievement that we need. People have different needs at work according to their personalities. Some prefer mundane office jobs where they do very similar work for days on end, while others look for variation in their work, and for it push their personal growth. If you're stuck in a job where your inner goals and values aren't satisfied, leaving is definitely an option. Your work shouldn't feel like a burden, especially if you've worked hard your whole life to be able to work in a good position. The nature of the work is something you should take seriously, and if it's just not doing it for you, you should probably quit your job. You aren't satisfied with the work environment. A corporation's environment can alone make or break job satisfaction for its employees. There are many reasons for you to be unsatisfied with your organization's environment. For instance, if the management practices a tight autocratic leadership style, and you're otherwise used to being heard in your opinions, this can have an othering effect on you. Similarly, if the values of the company don't align with yours, if there are things you consider unethical but your company practices them, then getting dissatisfied is fairly easy. Resigning is completely acceptable in this case. Compromising on your values shouldn't be a part of making a living, and prioritizing your values is totally valid. You feel stuck or limited in your job. Seeking advancement, both on a personal and professional level, is normal for employees. Whether it's in the form of increased pay, or a better position in the organization, we all like to feel that our efforts are amounting to something, and contributing to our development. If your current job makes you feel like you're going nowhere, despite how hard you work, then this job might not be the one for you. Good organizations especially have employee development plans, because they recognize the need for advancement and accomplishment in their staff. If yours doesn't have on, you should reconsider your role in one, and should look for a job somewhere where you achieve personal growth each passing day. Your schedule is too challenging. A work-life balance that's healthy, and that allows you to give time to the many things you hold dear, is very important. If your job takes up all your time, and leaves you with very little to spend in leisure, then it's understandable why you may be unsatisfied. The significance of maintaining a work-life balance has largely been recognized. Gone are the days of returning home to an asleep family after a long, tiring day at work. But if you still have to do that, then that's something concerning, especially if you take up a specialist position in your firm. Leisure time is a need of almost every individual, and quitting a burdensome job for more leisure time is acceptable. You want to continue your education. Another reason to quit your job is to get back into training and education. Doing this may increase your ability to earn more, learn different skills, achieve certification, or work for better organizations. 
Many people, especially those at the start of their careers, choose to further their skills and education before completely devoting themselves to work. So quitting your job for this reason is valid. Alternatively, you could talk about your new commitments with your manager. If you need financial support during the time you spend learning other things, keeping the current job should be more suitable. Talking to your manager may help the two of you work out a new schedule for yourself. Your manager may design a part-time or flexible contract for you that fits in better with the rest of your commitments. If your contributions to your firm are valued, then a rescheduling has high chances of taking place. Otherwise, you should be ready to say goodbye to the workplace. You're relocating. There are many reasons why you may relocate. Your partner may find a job in another place, you may be offered a job elsewhere, or you simply want to live elsewhere. Regardless, quitting an unsatisfactory job in the process should be one of the best aspects of relocating. You no longer need to answer to extremely rigid bosses, or put up with the rash behavior of your seniors at work. You're relocating. You should use this as a reason to quit, and look for better jobs at your new home. But if you want to keep your job because of the risk that quitting might hold for you, you should talk to your boss and perhaps work out an arrangement where you still work from home and contribute to your firm. You want to change careers. Sometimes it's not the particular job, but the field in general that doesn't resonate with you. People often get stuck in careers they don't like, because they didn't experience the practical aspect of it during educational years, and now find the actual work quite off-putting. So it's understandable if you want to quit a field altogether, and that of course includes the job that you hold. You may quit the field, seek education in one that you think is more suitable for you, and then start afresh. This can definitely be scary for some, especially if they need financial backup, and are pretty much out of the career choosing stage of their lives. However, the longer you spend working somewhere that only strips you of satisfaction and happiness, the more you'll start despising your choices. So better than a whole lot of regret staying in a field you don't like. So quit as soon as you're able to, and start anew. You want to travel, and do other leisure activities full-time. When you think of full-time traveling, especially if it's something that you want to do but are unable to, you might think that that needs a lot of financial support. That is true, you need money to be able to travel. But what if we tell you that you can earn that money while traveling full-time? The concept of cloud working is all that. You can work from anywhere, at any time, according to your wishes and needs. There are many remote industries that allow people to work from any part of the world for a good amount of money. So if you'd like as much leisure time on your hands as possible, you might want to consider quitting your full-time job and work remotely from wherever your adventures take you. This should take some time, but once you're able to fulfill your goals, it'll all be worth it. That was it for today's video. Are you considering quitting your job? What are your options? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and also subscribe to our channel where we post similar videos quite frequently. We'll see you in the next one.